we've got a studio warming gift. This looks so dope. That is really good. A couple of updates on the studio. So the studio is actually, everything is just settling in really, really well. Like I could have never seen all of this coming together at the beginning when this is all, this was all empty and vacant and just bland. And I'm really happy with, with how everything is turning out. So real quick, a couple of updates that I want to update you guys on. A couple of things are changing about our desks. That's still my desk. Abe removed his monitors because he's going to get an ultra wide because, you know, ultra wides are awesome. In terms of the podcast room, probably one of my favorite rooms, um, I've done the sound paneling already. We've got a couple sets right there, right there, right there, around here and up there. Probably going to add a little bit more depending on how the audio is um, the mixer came in I won't talk too much about the electronics and the equipment right now because there will be a dedicated video for that but the microphones the microphones been waiting for forever for the microphones and I just got an email today saying they are getting shipped so that shouldn't take long we'll probably be here in the next day or two so I'm extremely excited to hook everything up to the mixer and then to the camera and start testing things out because we were supposed to actually have our first guest on the podcast come in today, um, Monday. However, uh, because we didn't have the microphone, we had to postpone. So, podcast room, A-okay. I almost forgot we hung up these awesome studio lights. They used to be on stands, but that takes up real estate on the floor. But right here, we've got them up. <sighs> And they're bright and they're gonna make this set look really, really good. Right now it's overexposed, but yeah. Awesome new uh, coffee station. No more Dunkin'. As you guys can tell, there's a certain mood that we like working in this office. We don't like having this huge, really bright LED, although it really helps with filming, with the lighting and stuff like that. We like to work in a calm and a little bit ambient light darkness uh, vibe to it but there are times where I do need some extra light on my desk that is where the awesome people at BenQ or Bank or I think it's Bank I don't know if it's Bank or BenQ but they sent me this awesome light that's supposed to attach to my ultra wide display hopefully it does fit I am naturally a brutally honest person, so if this is not as good as I hope it is, y'all are gonna know. Oops. Cool. This looks awesome. The Bank or BenQ screen bar e-reading lamp. I'm actually really irritated that I don't know how to pronounce this. The lamp was sent to me by BenQ. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, BenQ have to give credit where credit is due. 
this is really, really clever and seems a little, seems pretty futuristic how everything has a slot over here and there's text on the box itself to tell you exactly what is what and how it works. So good job, thank you. Out of the box, we've got the light. We've got the stand or mount. That's not difficult at all. Nicely mounted right on top of my screen. Side note, it makes me really happy to see that more and more companies are starting to switch to type C. All right, everything should be connected. Let's, let's test this, let's test this puppy out. All right, so it's not a button, I like that, it's just touch. But hey, you can adjust the tilt, look at that. I think I'm gonna keep it right there. I actually wanna see how this looks like with the lights off. Smart lights. This, this is pretty cool. I can have my desk lit up without bothering my partner or anybody else who wants to possibly keep the office dark. You can clearly see everything that's on the desk. What is this, brightness? Yeah, brightness. It's getting brighter. Darker, brighter. I also think color temperature. That is awesome. Warmer. And colder. Interesting. It's, it's honestly these little tools and gadgets that make a big difference, although they're extremely, extremely simple. Now, will it handle or pass the test of time? I have no idea, I just installed this. So far, it seems cool. So far, it seems like the build quality is pretty awesome. Um, if anything, I'll keep you guys updated in the description of this video. If it turns out to be complete poop, I'll let you know there. But I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, hit me with that like button. Subscribe if you enjoyed this channel so you can keep up with the studio and see uh, the future progress we make. I'll see you guys next time.